Today in our 2015 Hyundai Elantra, we'll be looking at our most popular hitch options. All right, we have two hitches here today. On the top, we have a Kurt Class 1, part number C11303. On the bottom, we have a Draw Tight Class 1, part number 24902. So our hitches are constructed a little bit differently here. The Kurt has this curve going down the frame. It's a round tubular steel construction on the frame. Whereas our draw tight, the frame is more of a squared off rectangular design and it's kind of flat here. Both of these hitches will tuck up underneath our bumper cover of our Hyundai Elantra fairly nicely with the curb being a little bit more hidden because this part drops on down and curls up. So here's how the Kurt looks installed in our vehicle. As you can see, the part where it curves up becomes hidden behind our bumper cover. The draw tight hitch will look fairly similar, only difference being it would hang down a little bit more here and then go up. So you have a little bit more exposed, but they'll still both look about the same. Another difference that we have between our hitches is our safety chain loops right here. Our Kurt hitch has a plate that's welded to the bottom of the receiver and to the bottom frame of the hitch. It's kind of an angle design. You can really only hook your safety chains in from the front right here like so. We have these tubular designs here on the draw type, and you can clip in anywhere around the perimeter of it. And this will be easier to use if you have a large diameter safety chain that you need to get in there at a difficult angle like so, or if you have a small one, you can easily clip in all the way around. The curve will be a little bit more difficult for that. Now both of our hitches mount in the belt at the same manner. They install using three bolts, one on either side of the frame, and then there's one here on the back side of the receiver off to the driver's side, or the left side of the hitch, goes to the factory tow hook. So you have one on either side of the frame and this one here. Now, it gets a little interesting in the fact that there are two holes here in either hitch, but if you notice, they're not in the same spots. One of these holes is for a sedan model, and the other one's for the coupe model. Both of these hitches fit on either the sedan or the coupes. If you have a hatchback Hyundai Elantra, you have to use a different hitch. We don't have a hatchback here today, so we're not going to be covering the hatchback hitches. Now, in order to install the hardware on either one of these hitches, you have to enlarge a small access hole in the frame to fish wire your two bolts on the side on through, and then depending on if you have a coupe or sedan, or if it was made in America or if it was made in Korea, you either enlarge an existing hole for the bolt to drop on down through, or drill a hole using the hitch as a template for the bolt to go through. There is either an existing hole or there isn't one. It all depends on the model car you have and what the plant it was manufactured in. So you may find it easier when installing one of these hitches to get it in position based upon where the tow hook is to figure out which hole you're going to end up using. Now the Kurt hitch is slightly different than the draw tight in the regard that if you're using it for a non-trailer application, such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier, Kurt does require the use of a stabilization strap on the hitch to help support the load. The draw tight hitch, you can put a bike rack or a cargo carrier on without any other accessories needed. Now for your convenience, the Kurt hitch does come with a half inch pin and clip to secure any hitch mounted accessory you have. The draw tight, you would have to purchase that separately. As you can see, our half inch diameter hitch pin hole is about in the same location on both of our hitches here today. Now both of these hitches feature a 200 pound max tongue weight rating and a 2000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. Obviously you'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your Hyundai Elantra to find out what the vehicle is capable of towing and not exceeding the limits of either the car or the hitch. Now both these hitches feature a black powder coat finish with the Kurt being a little bit glossier than the draw type. But that powder coat finish will provide you with many years of service without having to worry about rust or corrosion damaging the hitch. Personal preference, I would probably go for the draw tight hitch myself if I was purchasing one for a Hyundai Elantra, just because of the fact you don't have to worry about using the stabilization strap in order to support it for using like a bike rack or a cargo carrier, and the safety chain loops are easier to use than they are on the Kurt. We hope that this video will assist you in any hitch purchasing needs that you have for your Hyundai Elantra. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.